Thinking about switching things up this year? It just might be the perfect time to try out a new shade for your do. But before you slap on the gloves and grab the dye, we've got some expert advice on how to crush your new look. Here are the hottest hair colors for 2020. If your look is feeling stale, maybe it's time to go bold this year. Edward Tricomi, master hairstylist and co-founder of Warren Tricomi Salons, says he bets clients will be opting for contrasting colors in 2020. He revealed, If you're looking to achieve this look, you want the contrast color to puddle in your hair. It won't be straight lines like traditional highlights. It's going to be more jagged, but it looks stunning. Billie Eilish would be a great example. I can't believe people care so much about me. Pop Sugar dubbed Eilish the quote, hair color icon we didn't know we needed in 2019. But while we can't help but love her locks, a look like hers requires some time in the chair. Hairstylist Stephanie Diaz told the outlet, if you look at Eilish's Instagram where she has some roots and some regrowth, you can see her natural color. It's not super dark, but way darker than the color she dyes it to. Kate Reed, multi-award winning colorist and design director for Color Me by Kevin Murphy, says there's a new delicious style to try. She declared, move over pumpkin spice, trends like turmeric latte shades are now hitting high street. For winter, summer blondes get warmer with golds and apricots being more predominant. That's right, the peach panic is over. Reed revealed that these rich golden shades also give the wearer a quote, instant glow and health to the skin, which is of course always trending. The stylist added, this helps to enhance our features, makes us look well rested, plus adds color to our cheeks. According to Reed, this color works best with those of us who have naturally warm and neutral skin tones. This may be the one time you can actually find the answer at the bottom of the bottle. To us, to us. And, and those who want to be us. Edward Tricomi foresees what he's calling beautiful burgundy and wine-colored highlights in 2020. Although they're traditionally fall colors, Tricomi explains that these darker shades work just as well in colder months, saying, Colors that imitate nature, like rust, rich browns, and reds, look beautiful from fall to winter. One of the best things about burgundy shades is how well they flatter all kinds of skin tones. L'Oreal Paris advises, If your pale skin is seemingly porcelain, this shade will be striking and dramatic, whereas on medium and dark skin tones, the color will seem subtle. Although platinum certainly had its moment, this hard-to-maintain shade is being replaced with much softer blondes in 2020. Kate Reed says, The movement to less over-lightening hair is hitting us. In the past, colorists have really over-processed hair with the movement of bond builders as their savior. Colorists are now moving back towards higher integrity colors, promoting glossy and strong hair. Subtle, but good. We can officially say goodbye to our crispy bleached ends and embrace what Reed calls the tweed trend. She explained, This is being achieved by leaving more depth in between the blonde balayage or highlights, which creates more of a tweed finish. The result? A perfect, quote, velvety texture, according to Reed. Although the unicorn hair trend has all but magically faded away, vivid hair colors aren't over yet. Tanya Reed, hairstylist and owner of T. Reed & Company Salon, revealed, Fantasy colors will be alive and well with even more vibrancy in 2020. The new take will be multiple colors on the same strand. The outcome will be a more banded effect. Unlike the contrasting Billie Eilish look, this would mean opting for two or more bright colors and then living your best life. If you want to experiment with color but aren't quite sold on vivid hues, Edward Tricomi's got your number. He says, I call it killed by a flower. Colors like rose, blue, and all pale tone colors are great. They always work well in any style from highlights to contrasts and even your entire head. For the spring in 2020, colors that are fun and playful are always the way to go. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. The so-called Dusty Rose shade is an especially fabulous pale tone to try in the new year. But this color, like other pale tones, will require quite a bit of upkeep, so prepare to get real friendly with your favorite salon. Even so, New York City stylist Stephanie Brown says there's an upside, revealing, With creative colors like this, it usually needs to be touched up often, but pinks in general fade well. 
While she admits copper hues are stunners for fall and winter months, according to Kate Reed, this year's tones look as good as they sound. She revealed, the biggest incoming shades for 2020 are from tangerine, mandarin orange, burnt peach, and golden red tones. Citrus shades are taking center stage on the catwalk, with these tones working in multiple ways. Like pale tones, Reed says these citrusy hair colors are going to be used as highlights, balayage, all-over application, and even dip dyes. For spring 2019, Geraldine, a colorist at Capricci Ricci Salon in Orlando, Florida, created what she called Peach Blonde. She told Allure, Peach Blonde is perfect for anyone with olive skin or with someone with golden flecks in their eyes. Fair skin can accommodate peach blonde as long as the face is framed with a darker, more complementary color to contrast to their light skin. If peachy blonde isn't quite pink enough for you, John Blue, master colorist and founder of Chicago-based Boss Hair Group, says he expects Pantone's New York Fashion Week Spring and Summer 2020 color palette to be a guiding force for hair trends in the new year. But you need to look no further than 2019's Living Coral. Pantone describes the shade as one that, quote, wraps you up in a warm and welcoming embrace. And really, who wouldn't want to rock a hair color with that description? Boom, and then you swing, and then you swing. But if you're worried about bleaching your hair, here's the good news. Sophia Hilton, founder of Not Another Salon, told Metro, there's also no need to go the whole hog, damaging your hair with a scalp bleach. It's a myth that you need a fully bleached base to play with these kinds of shades. Hilton also recommends going for something like a balayage base to further minimize damage. This year, peekaboo hair colors are going to dominate. Tanya Reed says she expects styles to call for a, quote, rich chocolate brown on top, but underneath, she says you'll find a multitude of vibrant colors popping out depending on how you move or style your hair. These vibrant colors used to be just an add-on afterthought for color companies. Now companies are building entire color lines around vibrant colors with greater longevity to please consumers and their wallets. Yasmin Osman, a hairstylist and colorist based in Boston, noted that she's receiving fewer requests for all over bright colors. Instead, when someone requests a bright shade, Osman says they're usually looking for a little pop of color. If you're loving the brighter trends of 2020 but don't want to part with your current color, adding some vivid peekaboo highlights gets you the best of both worlds. Based on Pantone's Fashion Week 2020 color palette, hairstylist, colorist, and founder of Boss Hair Group, John Blue, says we'll be seeing more, quote, fiery, flaming scarlet reds this year. If you've always flirted with the idea of going red, 2020 may be the perfect time to try it out. But be prepared for a little extra maintenance. Stephanie Brown told Refinery29, When red fades, the changes are more noticeable than blonde and brunette colors. The further away you stray from your natural hair color, the more often you'll have to be touched up, which is also why I suggest getting highlights. It blends better as your hair grows out. Brown also recommends using a shampoo and conditioner specifically for color-treated hair, as well as a gloss. Lastly, Hair Rules color director Jaxi advised, Try not to let your new hair grow past an inch. Once it goes beyond that, it can start to look uneven, and your stylist may have to approach it as a virgin service, which can also be more expensive. Violet? You're turning violet! What's happening? One of the most popular trends of 2016 is coming back in a big way this year. Jamie DeGrazia, award-winning hairstylist and owner of Chicago-based salon Logan Parlor, says, We are seeing a lot of smoky violet tones. Think deep amethyst. We will still be seeing a lot of silver-based blondes, yet at darker levels, like gunmetal gray versus platinum silver. Cosmo says the color, which was first known as smoky lilac, can be, quote, dark and mysterious on brunette locks or nymph-like on blonde hair. Depending on the look you're going for, you may want to ask your stylist for more purple than gray or vice versa. Either way, though, the color will show up best on lighter-toned hair. Stephanie Brown says, make sure there are no yellow tones in your hair, otherwise you'll lose the look of these pastel colors. 2020 is expected to feature all kinds of reds. John Blue says Pantone's Cinnamon Stick will be a favorite hair color in the new year, and the color is especially perfect for fall. 
Celeb colorist Ryan Trigstad told Refinery29, You can keep any light strands, like your post-summer ombre or blonde balayage, then blend red-bronze tones throughout. The result is a full-bodied shade that's warm, dimensional, and reflective. You have cinnamon in your cupboard, so it's easy to visualize that warm, golden-brown color. I need cinnamon. But like Scarlet, cinnamon is also prone to fading. But Trigstad says a color-protective mask can help prolong your dew. As great as these bold and beautiful, colorful trends are, this year you may be going for less of a statement and more of a timeless look. Warren Tricomi says, The classics are always great any time of year. Blondes, browns, brunettes, you can't go wrong with the classics. Still, there are a few things to keep in mind, especially if you're going from dark to light, one of them being your brows. Celebrity colorist Nicola Clark told Harper's Bazaar, Currently, the trend for brows is for them to be slightly darker and bolder than the rest of the hair. If you do choose to lighten them, Clark says to avoid what she calls brassy brows and stick to no more than two shades lighter than your current brow. Oh, look at that. Look at the hair! If you were praying natural gray would be on this list, we're officially declaring 2020 as the year of the beautifully stunning silver mane. But while we happily embrace this gorgeously authentic look, transitioning from a dyed color to a natural gray can take some time. Celeb colorist Lauren E. Hack told Reader's Digest, If you are ready to commit to growing out your gray, know that patience is key. It will be a shock to the eye, and maybe some emotions will arise too, but focus on the end result and keep in mind the reason you have chosen to make this decision. You may find it easiest to go for a big chop when transitioning to gray, or you could try highlights, which allow roots to make their debut a little more gracefully. You could still be fun and vibrant and young with your gray. With the literal rainbow of stunning hair colors on trend for 2020, we're excited to see everyone flip their hair back in whatever shade they love. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about beauty and fashion are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.